Week 8 kicked off in the usual trucker style. While cruising back from the bustling streets of Laredo, my trusty travel agent buzzed in. She dangled a few tempting options before me, and I couldn't resist snagging a multi-stop load with Pennsylvania written all over it. The next challenge was the ever-popular Find My Trailer game at the Fort Recovery Terminal. It's like hide-and-seek, but with 53-foot trailers and a lot less giggling. After a thrilling round of trailer hunting, I emerged victorious and hit the road to make the most of my remaining drive time. My target for that night? The legendary Flying J in Smithton, Pennsylvania. I like the pilot and Flying J chain as I get free showers there, and uh, they always have hot coffee. As the dash camera rolled, capturing my grand exit from the interstate, I ventured into the bustling realm of the Flying J at Smithton. But alas, the parking gods were not smiling upon me that day. Every spot was occupied, a sight more heartbreaking than the last drop of coffee in my cup. Undeterred, I turned to my trusty backup plan, the roadies travel center next door. I spotted a great space almost immediately, a perfect spot waiting just for me, an easy exit for a swift getaway after the break. With my truck snugly tucked in for the night, it was time to hit the hay and dream of open roads and endless possibilities. After all, a well-rested trucker is a happy trucker. Refreshed from my break, I embarked on a mini-adventure, clocking in some bonus steps as I strolled over to the Flying J my mission to indulge in the luxury of a hot shower and to refill my trusty thermos with that liquid gold they call coffee. It's the little things in life, folks. With a spring in my step and caffeine in my veins, I rolled into my first stop with time to spare before the delivery appointment. All right, so I'm out there on the road juggling multiple stop loads like a pro. No appointments, just open hours and endless possibilities. It's like playing a high-stakes game of logistics Tetris, but with bigger trucks and way less colorful blocks. Now, I know what you're thinking. I don't just get paid by the mile. I get paid by the stop, too. That's right. Every stop is like a mini jackpot. It's not just about getting from point A to point B. It's about making those detours count in more ways than one. So here you are cruising down the highway with your trusty sidekick GPS guiding the way. You've got your eyes on the prize, or should I say on all those stops waiting to be conquered. It's a race against time and traffic, but hey, that's all part of the adventure, right? Managing multiple stop loads is like solving a puzzle that never quite fits together perfectly. But hey, who doesn't love a challenge? The thrill of beating the clock while racking up those extra dollars. Now that's what I call multitasking at its finest. Now let's add to it that there's some bad weather incoming. Two stops left to go that will be closed before I get there. I stop for a good shower and a brief break. I want to shut down for the night as close as I can get to my next stop. I use several tools for planning my route and locating safe places to park. Trucker Path has become the tool that I go to first when searching. All the travel centers are in there, as well as the rest areas. And in addition, there are some places that just won't show up in the GPS. I also like the parking prediction, the crowd sourced, current parking status, and the reviews. Another tool that I swear by is the app Park My Rig. If you stop by Iowa 80 Truck Stop, they have the print version of this app. I find the app much more convenient. This is a pay app. The annual subscription is about $25. You'll save that the first time you find a free parking spot when you are ready to pay. I've linked these apps below in the video description to make it easier to find them. I drove to the Cabela's that I had chosen for parking on this break. Picture it. A sprawling, almost regal expanse that could easily be mistaken for a small kingdom dedicated to the noble art of parking. And let me tell you, the online congregation of reviewers weren't just whistling Dixie. This place is as empty as a promise to start a diet on a Monday. As the moon stood guard and the stars played their silent tunes, a formidable Pennsylvania snowstorm began its march from the west. Unbeknownst to me, snug in my sleeper, the world outside transformed under the cloak of darkness. While I journeyed through the land of dreams, nature unfurled a blanket of white over the landscape, a silent artist working its overnight magic. By morning, the scene outside my window was one of pure winter wonderland. If your idea of a wonderland includes a hefty dose of snow-induced chaos, that is, the ground, once familiar and unadorned, now lay hidden beneath an unyielding layer of snow. 
as if Mother Nature had decided to hit the reset button on the color scheme of our world. But with great snow comes great responsibility. And in this case, it was the Pennsylvania Authority stepping in with vehicle restrictions faster than you can say black ice nightmare. A wise move, no doubt, given the ballet of vehicles that now considered the laws of friction merely a suggestion. Here's the thing about me and chains. We don't mix. In the toolbox of winter driving, chains are that tool I acknowledge, respect, but never touch. My philosophy, if the roads demand chains, they're also silently whispering, take the day off, buddy. And who am I to argue with such sound advice? So, as the restrictions came into place, my decision was as clear as the untouched snow. It was a day for hot coffee, contemplation, and giving my rig a well-deserved rest. In the grand theater of trucking, days like these are a gentle reminder of the power of nature and the importance of safety over schedules. In the unpredictable saga of trucking, where each new dawn might toss a curveball your way, embracing the unexpected becomes not just a skill, but an art form. Picture this. There I was, plotting my course with the precision of a seasoned captain when Mother Nature decided to throw a snowstorm-shaped wrench into my meticulously laid plans. Now, for some, an unexpected day off might ring alarm bells for their weekly earnings, but here's where a bit of quick thinking and some managerial acumen come into play. You see, I was merely a day shy of embarking on a paid 34-hour reset with grand plans of making it a productive pause at the Fort Recovery Ohio Terminal Post Mission. However, life loves a good plot twist. Flexibility isn't just something I practice when I'm trying to reach for the last bag of chips behind the passenger seat. It's a fundamental part of my job strategy, a swift call to dispatch, a check on the urgency of my pending deliveries. Spoiler, they weren't, and voila. My impromptu break was set. This wasn't just about dodging snowflakes the size of pancakes. It was about ensuring the weather did its thing while I did mine, which, in this case, was taking a well-deserved breather. By the time my break concluded, the roads had shrugged off their snowy mantle. As clear as my newly refreshed mind, those final deliveries handled with the kind of ease that comes from not wrestling with Mother Nature. And the best part, my paycheck didn't just survive the ordeal, it came out unscathed, thriving even. This episode reinforced a truth I always share. Driving the truck is the easy part. We aren't just truck drivers. We are managers. We manage five clocks, shippers, receivers, dispatchers, cargo, equipment, shops, and ourselves. Align yourself with a company that hits the right notes in culture, compensation, and support. And you'll find that the road, no matter how unpredictable, is a journey worth every mile. As always, make sure that you are enjoying every day at work.